Right now, voter intimidation through text messages, what to look out for and the penalties senders could face. Plus, what impact does the rising cost of child care have when it comes to people wanting to start families? We'll take a closer look. And more details about a referendum in Middleton designed to continue protecting the area from a repeat of the 2018 flooding. You're watching News 3 Now at 5. And we have developing news. The Dane County Sheriff's Office investigating after human remains are discovered in the town of Roxbury. Those remains were found sometime Sunday by a hunter. It happened in the area of County Highway Y at Loper Road, just up the road from AK Tech Systems. An investigation into the circumstances surrounding the death and an attempt to identify the person are still underway. The results of an autopsy that happened yesterday have yet to be released. Former President Barack Obama and vice presidential nominee Minnesota Governor Tim Walz will be campaigning in Madison next week. The duo will be in Madison next Tuesday, the same day early voting opens in Wisconsin. At the rally, they're expected to encourage voters to vote early for Democrats across the ticket. The location and time of the rally both yet to be revealed. The visit joins over a dozen visits from Democratic presidential nominee Kamala Harris, Governor Walz, and their surrogates. Let's get a look at the first worn forecast now, Chief. I'll just Alex Harrington live at Monona Terrace with the Chamber of Commerce and Alex the Chamber of Commerce wants it to be warmer right now I'm telling you <laughs> I wish it was warmer too Eric I was outside last night I had my North Face parka jacket on I was dressed for the middle of winter at least relatively speaking and warmer weather is on the way but first let's look at our frost and freeze potential I think this is a great graphic to explain low temperatures tonight mid to upper 20s so a hard freeze is likely across southern Wisconsin but it's short-lived tomorrow night temperatures get up into the lower 30s still a potential for a frost for all of southern Wisconsin and then there we go low temperatures go back up into the 40s to near 50 degrees degrees by the time we head towards the weekend going out into next week. So our fall-like bit here is very, very tiny, very, very short-lived across southern Wisconsin. We got 48 degrees here. I'm out at the Monona Terrace right now looking out over Lake Monona right now as we speak. Northwesterly breezes, you can see the water moving behind me here. That puts a little extra chill in the air as we plan the evening, though. Temperatures down to around 38 degrees by the time you join Jacob for the latest frost freeze information. Coming up in Maine weather, we're going to talk to Kevin Little, our vice president of the Madison Greater Chamber of Commerce, and we'll talk more about the 71st uh, Chamber event this evening and just how warm those temperatures, the highs, will be this upcoming weekend. Alex Harrington, Downtown News 3 Now. Alex, thank you. Students of the community of Slinger, about 45 minutes northwest of Milwaukee, are back in school today after bomb threats caused an early dismissal yesterday afternoon. Now, officers with the Slinger PD say a high school student told a school resource officer about a social Social media bomb threat against the high school. The building was evacuated as well as the elementary school as a precaution. No suspicious items were found and the FBI is now working with local police to identify who made that threat. Planned Parenthood of Wisconsin says it's offering a new service that will make birth control medication more accessible to women across the state. Birth control will now be delivered directly through quarterly contraception kits that are meant to be fast, discreet, and affordable. Tanya Atkinson, Wisconsin Planned Parenthood president and CEO, says, quote, from rural to suburban to urban environments, this program is built to remove barriers to accessing birth control. For more information, visit qckkit.com. Well, for people in Middleton, you'll find a referendum on the ballot asking to maintain the current stormwater utility tax. Middleton taxpayers approved a temporary increase in utility rates back in 2018. That was to pay for repairs after the devastating August floods that year. That flooding left damage throughout the city's stormwater management facilities, including ones within the Pheasant Branch Creek Corridor. Now, if the referendum fails, the tax would then revert back to pre-2018 levels. Stewards of the area say this referendum asks for an increase that is still far below the cost for other areas and accomplishes some big goals. The referendum does three things. It improves the ecological health of Pheasant Branch Conservancy. It's going to build in resilience for flooding so that we don't experience the damage we saw in 2018. And it provides a fair mechanism for funding for all of us that appreciate Pheasant Branch Conservancy. Now, the referendum would make it so all property owners, not just homeowners, foot the bill for funding the stormwater utility. 
Over a dozen locations in Dane County are offering places to dispose of medicines on National Prescription Drug Take Back Day. The national event takes place next Saturday and continues an effort to battle prescription drug misuse. A few locations to drop off your unused, unwanted, or expired prescription drugs are Elver Park, Warner Park, and the Mount Zion Baptist Church Food Pantry. Organizers say you should not bring illegal drugs, acid, biohazardous materials, or personal care products. Chief Meteorologist Alex Harrington uh, joins us live once again from Monona Terrace, and we'll have our complete firstborn forecast. And the damage lingers from recent hurricanes. More details on supply chain disruptions, especially the impact on IV fluid production, coming up. And some retreats for the markets today. The Dow falls 325 points, and NASDAQ down 187. S&P 500 loses almost 45, and we'll be right back. You're watching News 3 Now, brought to you by Cardinal Heating and Air Conditioning. They've been rocking audiences for decades. It's Boghead. Performing live November 30th at Ho-Chunk Gaming, Wisconsin Dells. I just want to make With special guest, The Empty Pockets. Tickets are on sale now through Ticketmaster. Legendary rock band Fog Hat. Live in concert November 30th at Ho Chunk Gaming, Wisconsin Dells. Your odds are better here. Get an 11% rebate on everything at Menards. Insulate your home and keep the cold air out with Owens Corning Pink Foamular Insulation Panels. These panels are available in many different sizes to fit any project. Get this pre cut panel today for $9.99 after rebate. Loctite Power Grab Heavy Duty Adhesive is high strength, paintable, and is easy to use with zero second instant grab. A nine ounce tube is $2.99 after 11% rebate. When you have a history of greatness, the real challenge starts after the finish line. When victory alone isn't enough, you keep dreaming and go beyond what's possible. The Ridgeline Passport and Pilot. Part of our most rugged lineup yet. He murdered a father of three, sentenced to life in prison. Kamala Harris pushed to use tax dollars to pay for his sex change. I made sure that they changed the policy so that every transgender inmate would have access. It sounds insane because it is insane. Kamala was the first to help pay for a prisoner's sex change. The power that I had, I used it in a way that was about pushing for the movement, frankly, and the agenda. Kamala's agenda is they, them, not you. I'm Donald J. Trump, and I approve this message. It's Brad Beasley over at Tundraland, Wisconsin's trusted jacuzzi bath and shower remodeler. It's our fall into savings sale at Tundraland. In as little as one day, you can turn your bathroom from average to amazing. Your new jacuzzi shower will be the centerpiece of your home. If you act now, you'll get free installation with no money down, no payments, and no interest for a whole year. Call 1-800-TUNDRALAND or visit tundraland.com today. Tundraland.com you don't need to battle addiction alone. Contact the great people at Wood Violet Recovery today. You could be on your way to recovery the same day. Wood Violet Recovery works with a wide range of insurance networks, so a large portion of your treatment may be covered. Wood Violet Recovery will create the treatment plan that best suits your needs. Unlike other rehab facilities, phones and laptops are welcome. Today may feel dark, but there's a brighter tomorrow. Contact Wood Violet Recovery now. You're watching News 3 Now at 5. Welcome back. Families and children have been a major topic of discussion on the campaign trail. Both sides of the aisle are acknowledging the need for more affordable child care and more child care options. Well, our Jalen Banks joins us now with whether these have resulted in people opting out of starting families in recent years. Jalen? Eric and Maddie, Vice President Harris on the campaign trail saying if she is in office, she would ensure a child tax credit. On the other side of the aisle, Re Republican Vice Presidential nominee J.D. Vance saying there should be more child care options when receiving federal money. But the question is, have these two issues and the overall cost of living deterred some people from wanting to start a family? Well, I caught up with one family physician to find out. Families and child care. We've heard it throughout the campaigns. Vice President Harris promising a child tax credit up to $6,000 
and Republican vice presidential nominee J.D. Vance wanting more options for child care. Of extending, as I intend to do, the child tax credit to $6,000 for the first year of a child's life because that young family could use that money to buy a car seat, to buy a crib. Immediately, some would like to spend a little time home with the kids. Some would like to spend longer at home with the kids. We should have a family care model that makes choice possible. The sentiment being child care and options are expensive and at times limited. And speaking to one family physician, they say they have seen a shift in desires for people on starting a family. The factors include financial, so they're having to pay more for housing, more for bills, uh, more for food. Kroll also says she has seen a certain demographic opt out of starting a family. Less of the younger adults, and when we do talk to younger adults, it seems to be pretty congruent with what's been you know, presented in the media with the reasons why younger people are not having um, either as many or any kids now. That feeling being backed by data from the CDC. As we have seen a decrease in birth rates for women ages 20 to 24 drop 7% from 2021 to 2022. As for the Badger State, according to the Wisconsin Department of Health Services, birth rates for the state and Dane County are below the national average. However, there are multiple factors other than financial that may contribute to people opting out of starting a family. Uh, also, it's women wanting to be really focused on their careers. Um, there's also been a lot of information about people being um, concerned about the environment. Now, for more information on the cost of child care and other issues pertaining to this, you can find it on our website at channel3000.com. Jalen, thank you. It's an election many are calling high stakes, which is why one student became nervous when she got a vaguely threatening text warning her about voting absentee. Her mother spoke to our Arman Rahman. Arman, this doesn't appear to be an isolated incident, does it? No, Maddie and Eric, it does not. I spoke to Madison City Attorney, and he says this this is the second time someone's gotten that same text. Many of us have been bombarded with text messages from campaigns this election cycle. They may be annoying, but Sarah Gold's daughter got a message out of the blue and she was panicked. Because unlike a request for money or her vote, this one said are uh, voting in a state that, that, that you, you are um, not legally able to vote in. Um, is a crime um, punishable by X amount of years in prison and a very hefty fine. So obviously she was frightened. Gold's daughter is 21 years old. She is registered to vote in Wisconsin and had just requested an absentee ballot to vote from school in Tennessee. Turns out they weren't the only ones to get this alarming text. We were aware of at least two of these instances so far, just in the last couple of days. I, I think it is a concern of the clerk's office. It's a concern of our office. Madison City Attorney Michael Haas says per state statute, they sent these instances to the district attorney's office to investigate whether it falls under voter intimidation. If they are attempting to uh, make these threats or discourage people from voting um, in an illegal way, that's, that's a felony. It's a class I felony. It carries a penalty of up to $10,000 or three years and six months um, imprisonment. So it, it's serious. He says if you get the same text or one similar, contact your municipal clerk. Normally, we think of voter intimidation or election threats as face-to-face -face interactions, but Haas says Wisconsin law says it can be any false device or tactic. While it made Gold's daughter nervous, it didn't stop her. So her vote has been counted and it is legal. Now, Gold says she is working to file a formal complaint with the Wisconsin Elections Commission. They sent us a statement urging voters to rely on official sources for election information. Armand, thank you. After back-to-back -back hurricanes, there's concern over how damage to factories and farms could cause long-term supply chain disruptions. That's a story we've covered recently, and one company responsible for more than half of the nation's supply of IV fluid damaged to the Baxter, Baxter Pharmaceuticals plant in North Carolina by Hurricane Aline has really impacted the supply. The U.S. Department of Health and Human Services asked healthcare providers now to ration their current supplies and try to find alternatives. The things that we use and consume in our life may come from around the corner or they may come from 
around the world. Chris Gaffney, supply chain expert, says Hurricane Helene followed by Hurricane Milton have created some glaring immediate shortages like gas or a rush for flashlights. The help isn't coming fast enough. Asheville-based grocery chain Ingalls closed nearly a dozen of their locations in the south, flooding at their distribution center impacting what can be sent all over the southeast. That's hundreds of stores that serve for sure us in North Georgia all the way into the Atlanta market. Long-term crop loss could have you paying more in stores. Georgia pecan trees flattened, peanuts waterlogged, cotton soiled, and millions of acres of timberland leveled. The overall construction market, lumber, those type of things, skilled trades. If you live in North Georgia, you may all of a sudden see greater competition or longer delays because there may be people moving up into Carolina for a year to help them rebuild. In Florida, the citrus crop took a direct hit, a major setback for the crop that's production has already dropped 92% in the last two decades. Right. They're now looking at alternative supply and have for many years of oranges coming from Brazil. The Biden administration says it's invoked the wartime powers of the Defense Production Act to speed up rebuilding the North Carolina IV factory. And for now, Baxter has authorization from the FDA to import fluids from other factories around the world. Let's get a look at your first one forecast now. As we mentioned, Alex Down at Monona Terrace tonight. He joins us now with a complete forecast. Alex. Good evening, Eric. Good evening, Southern Wisconsin. I'm joined with Kevin Little, the Vice President of the Greater Madison Chamber of Commerce. So thank you for having me. Tonight. Thanks for being here. We're glad you're here. I'm excited to be here. And I want to know a little bit more about tonight's event. What excites you the most about the 71st annual event? Yeah, well, Alex, just as the weather's starting to change, so is our community. I mean, we all see it out in the community, the busier roads, housing challenges that comes from growth. And, and that's a real enviable challenge for cities across the country to have that we are growing, but with that growth comes challenges. And that's what tonight's about. It's about all of the business community coming together, talking about the opportunities and the challenges that we face and how we can come together to solve those problems. And we have a large crowd here. We're expecting about how many people? Just shy of 1,300 people 1300 that'll be here, yeah. yeah. Wow. A lot of chicken. <laughs> a lot of chicken being served yeah. at a little bit after six o'clock, right? That's right. Yeah. Um, and in terms of businesses that are here, I see folks from, uh, from what I understand, talking to one of your colleagues earlier, small businesses, medium-sized businesses, large, large businesses. What are some of those businesses that are here uh, attending tonight's event? Yeah, it's a complete reflection of our entire business community. You see small businesses, sole proprietors. I was just talking to some entrepreneurs earlier who are just getting going. Some of our larger, more established enterprise companies as well. It really is a complete mix of attendees tonight. And uh, we have an exciting guest speaker this evening. Can you tell us a little bit about our guest speaker? For yeah, tonight? so Dr. Jonah Berger, uh, he's a professor at the Wharton School uh, at, at, at the University of Pennsylvania. He's an international bestseller. He's sold millions of books uh, across the globe. He's a, he's a, a well-sought-after speaker that really talks about the art of persuasion and influence to affect positive change. I'm looking forward to hearing that speech, and thank you so much for having our channel and our viewers out here to partake in a portion of the event and for having me, too. It's a pleasure. Alex, thanks for being here. Nice to, nice to meet you, too. Nice to meet you, too. Well, looking forward to the event. Thanks. All right, so Kevin was saying weather is changing, and it is changing. We're going to go from frosty conditions tonight right back to summery conditions by the time we get to the weekend. Let's start off by planning your evening. Six o'clock when you join our newscast. We'll be just about getting to near the dinner hour here at the Greater Chamber of Commerce event. Temperatures are already going to be falling into the middle 40s by the time we get a little bit later into the evening. Jacob will be here at 10 o'clock for the 10 o'clock newscast as temperatures fall down into the upper 30s. Right now, 48 in Madison. A little warm over southwestern Wisconsin, but it doesn't matter if you're 40s or 50s. Clearing skies. I'm looking out the Monona Terrace windows as we speak right now. When you have clear skies, that allows that radiation, that heat to go right out the space, the temperatures to cool down. We have freeze warnings widespread through Wednesday morning across all of southern Wisconsin. And I'll keep repeating this during our newscasts. We have our friends in Juneau and Adams counties, areas of central and northern Wisconsin. You may 
people be wondering, well, why aren't they under a freeze warning right now? We have to take into account we've had the freeze conditions slowly working their way down through Wisconsin. And this is our time now over southern Wisconsin for the potential here for a hard freeze overnight. Overnight temperatures starting off mid to upper 20s, especially in the Wisconsin River Valley, warming up to the lower 30s by the time we get towards around 8 o'clock as the sun gets a little bit brighter. High temperatures tomorrow will make it up into the middle 50s, which is a bit below normal for this time of year. But here we go. And I usually snap when our weather's going to make a snap in terms of going from one extreme to another extreme. So from frost to summer by the time we get to this weekend, if you're thinking about events already for this weekend, a little bit on the breezy side, but as our colors continue to change, as I look out here at our colors on the other side of Lake Monona, this will be a beautiful weekend for those viewing of those peak colors. And actually, these cool temperatures that we have tonight right now are adding to the peak color conditions across southern Wisconsin. So be sure to get out this weekend to enjoy them. Our temperatures stay warm all the way out into early next week before we cool down a little bit again Wednesday and Thursday of next week. And that will spell another opportunity for frost across southern Wisconsin. Again, live here downtown, 71st Greater Madison Chamber of Commerce event about to begin. We're networking right now and we'll be live again here during our six o'clock newscast as folks start to get ready for the actual guest speaker and the dinner downtown. Alex Harrington, live News 3 Now. Alex, thank you very much. A drop in battery prices means you could be closer to owning an affordable electric vehicle. When we come back, we show you how automakers are showcasing the newest advances in electric cars. News 3 Now First Warm Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Right now, pet dander, skin cells, and dirt are settling deep into your carpet fibers. Stanley Steamer removes the dirt you see and the dirt you don't. Your carpets aren't clean until they're Stanley Steamer clean. Stanley Steamer gets your home. Four years ago, rioters set this Minneapolis police station on fire, trying to burn me and my fellow police officers alive. Governor Tim Walz left us for dead. And Kamala Harris? This is a movement, I'm telling you. Everyone beware. They're not going to let up, and they should not. She raised millions to help bail rioters out of jail and supported defunding the police. Kamala sold cops out and put families at risk. Kamala Harris is too weak and too dangerous to be president. Preserve America PAC is responsible for the content of this advertising. Kamala Harris is going to significantly raise taxes. Taxes are going to have to go up? Kamala's plan will raise families' taxes by nearly $2,600 a year. Under Kamala, prices have already soared. Now she'd make it worse with even higher taxes. Taxes are going to have to go up? President Trump will cut taxes again. No taxes on tips, overtime, or Social Security. I'm Donald J. Trump, and I approve this message. The right to vote is the foundation of democracy. For decades, we have been forced to fight voter suppression to increase voter turnout in the black community, while overcoming barriers designed to undermine voter participation. The NAACP of Wisconsin believes your vote matters, and we urge you to double check your voter information at myvotewisconsin.gov. In-person absentee voting begins Tuesday, October 27th. Now let's be all in to vote on November 5th. Prices are up, wages are down, inflation is crushing Wisconsin families. Yet Sarah Kieski, she supports lifting revenue limits, allowing property tax rates to skyrocket unchecked. Even more radical, Kieski's backers want to ban natural gas to heat our homes, driving utility bills through the roof. Tax hikes and higher prices for families and those living on fixed incomes. That's Kieski's record, expensive and extreme. Reject Sarah Kieski and her radical agenda. Brian Stiles says he's proud of his extreme record. Extremists want to gut Social Security and Medicare, cut benefits for seniors, and raise the retirement age. Stiles proud to join them. And they push to ban abortion in Wisconsin, restrict birth control, and monitor pregnancies to prosecute women. Brian Stiles proud to be backed by them. Peter Barca is proud to put Wisconsin over party. I'm Peter Barca, and I approve this message.
Allergies aren't fun for anyone, especially when they work their way into your home. A professional air duct cleaning from Stanley Steamer can dramatically improve indoor air quality and significantly reduce indoor allergens. Your home isn't clean until it's Stanley Steamer clean. You're watching News 3 Now at 5. Automakers competing to convince drivers to go electric are rolling out cheaper, more tech-rich models at Europe's biggest auto show. CBS's Tina Krause shows us some of the world's newest green vehicles. At this year's Paris Motor Show, the race is on to electrify the auto industry by steering drivers down a greener path. You look around this motor show, you look around car showrooms, they are packed full of electric cars with the latest technology. General Motors is back in Europe, showing off a series of electric SUVs, including the Cadillac Lyric. It can go for more than 300 miles on a single charge and comes with the driverless super cruise function. We call it hands of the wheel, eyes on the road. Vehicles are filled with futuristic features. This Chinese-made hybrid SUV can float on water for up to 30 minutes and has a built-in drone on the roof, which can be deployed to show you what's coming further down the road. Automakers are targeting everyone from luxury clients to students who don't even have their driver's licenses yet. Throwing in artificial intelligence and capitalizing on convenience, like the perk of always snagging a parking spot in the electric Italian Microlino. So there are a lot of reasons why current cars are way too big for what they are being used most of the time. And so our idea was to say, okay, how can we downsize a vehicle so that it's really fit for purpose? Car makers say they've done their part to shift the industry toward a greener future and say it's now up to governments to provide more incentives and infrastructure to spark an electric revolution. Tina Krause, CBS News, London. Well, and we're back with a final check of your first worn forecast after a short break. Sometimes the smallest cracks can cause the biggest chills. This fall, watch out for the draft. For quality windows, siding and doors, call 866 for Feltco. I worked as a truck driver for 36 years. And then one day I got this letter. Your retirement will be cut. Will be cut in half. You don't forget something like that. Every paycheck we put money away. But because of Wall Street greed, Boom! It was gone! But Tammy Baldwin saw what they were doing and wrote a bill to save our retirement. Then she fought like hell to pass it. What Tammy Baldwin did for our families, you don't forget something like that. I'm Tammy Baldwin and I approve this message. Join us at the Madison Fall Parade of Homes, exclusively sponsored by Nuns. Don't miss your chance to visit the area's top newly constructed homes filled with the latest trends and technology. Go to MadisonFallParadeOfHomes.com and purchase your tickets today. Hello, I'm Dan Fields. Fields Volvo Cars Madison has the Volvo you want in stock and ready to drive home today. So stop by Fields Volvo Cars Madison and take a test drive. Plus, you'll be part of Fields Amenities Program with complimentary loaners, car washes, and gourmet coffee service. And right now is a great time to get an offer like this. Get 3.99% APR financing for up to 72 months on 2024 and 2025 Volvo XC40, XC60, and XC90 models at Fields Volvo Cars Madison. Go to volvocarsmadison.com. When it comes to your critical medical decisions, you should have the final say. But extreme politician Joan Balwick says you're wrong. She supports criminalizing abortion even after rape and incest. Or to save the life of the mother, Balwick would jail doctors for giving life-saving care. And Balwick even wrote the law that could deny women access to birth control. Joan Balwick would put extreme politicians in charge of your body and put all Wisconsin women in danger. Get your best night's sleep on a new Tempur-Pedic mattress from Steinhoffels. Tempur-Pedics are designed to make aches and pains a thing of the past by supporting the body as no other mattress can. Tempur-Pedic queen mattresses start at only $52 per month. Plus, get $300 in Steinhoffels cash. Start sleeping better tonight. Steinhoffels, your mattress destination. Shop in store or online. Relax, it's Steinhoffels. It seems like everyone in Washington is either too far left 
or too far right. I'm Rebecca Cook, and like most folks in Wisconsin, I'm somewhere in the middle. I'll stand up to Democrats to fight for a secure border and stop wasteful spending. I'll stand up to extremists like Derek Van Orden, who wants to ban all abortions with no exceptions. Like you, I'm fed up and ready for change. I approve this message because it's time that we sent one of us to Congress. Coming up tonight on the CBS Evening News, three weeks from today is Election Day. Hear what Donald Trump said in a combative interview about tariffs and his economic plan, and whether he's been talking recently to Russia's President Vladimir Putin. We've got that and more headlines tonight on the CBS Evening News. Now Kelly's joining us now. Final check of the forecast. Yeah, we do have a, a freeze warning in effect. It officially starts at 1 o'clock until 9 o'clock. So this will be a long duration freeze, uh, quite a few hours. So bring in those plants that you want to protect all of southern Wisconsin. This will bring an end to our growing season. 56 tomorrow, so a little bit mild. A possible freeze again tomorrow night or at least some frost. Temperatures back in the 60s, and we're talking about some 70s as the heat returns this weekend. Kelly didn't have to put a suit on for this newscast. You should see what he's wearing. Thanks for joining <laughs> us, folks. We'll see you in 30 minutes on News.